Basically what the trees do is they absorb carbon dioxide and many other pollutant also. But when trees are cut for deforestation, uh, that carbon dioxide is not absorbed, that stays in the atmosphere, which leads to increase in uh, temperature. And the global warming is a phenomenon, as you know, is because of presence of these gases, which is not being absorbed. Forest is the only sink which absorbs this carbon dioxide, but due to deforestation, it's not able to absorb the carbon dioxide, and they still present, and the temperature of the cities and everything is increasing. For example, if you consider Garo Hills itself, the big city, Tura, the air pollution is very high in Tura because of vehicles and all. But if you go to any forest area, the one reason why air pollution is low is also due to absence of vehicles, absence of industries, but is also due to presence of large number of trees, which attract this pollution and absorbs them. For example, if you go to Dari Bukri village, where there's a large forest area around, the temperature around that forest is also cooler and the air is fresh. Again, one more thing which uh, forest does is when rain falls on them, they reduce the force of rain and helps it to get absorbed in the land. And it's very essential for uh, rivers to have forest area near them because they allow the water to be stored for a longer duration. If there's no forest and there's heavy rain, it will take off all the topsoil in off. This can also result into landslides and other problems. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not Bang bati wa wa de, sekarang wa bata, mukawarang de.